Hey everybody, wanted to do a quick how-to on the proper way to remove both catalytic converters from your 2014 to current year model or 2020 T-Rex and T-Rex 4 800s. Um, I can't speak to anything before that year because I didn't have one and haven't done any research on it. A uh, little bit of background, I had a T-Rex 4 before I had my KRX. I put about 300 hours on it. It was a good machine for what it was. I mean, it's a sport utility. It's a good machine. They're tough. They're tanks. They last forever. Um, but the two biggest complaints you always hear about the T-Rex 4 and the regular T-Rex 800 is that they're super hot in the cab, which is true, and they're super loud. Um, there's really nothing you can do for the noise. I tried everything. None of it worked. But the one thing I did do for the heat that helped a ton is remove both cats. Um, the first pipe down here at the bottom is a bone stock pipe. It's the exact same part number. From 2014 to 2020. You can see you've got two catalytic converters on it. You've got one in the back. And then you've got one in the middle that goes right there. You can't see it, but I'll explain it in a second. Again, that's the back of the muffler. Or back of the uh, mid pipe or head pipe, whatever you want to call it. The top pipe here goes right into the back cylinder. This pipe connects to a down pipe that comes from the front cylinder. Because remember, T-Rex 800s are V-twins. So... Rear cylinder connects to that one. Front cylinder has a down pipe that connects to this one. Um, when I did it, I first did it just by chopping the rear cat off. That helped. Um, but I didn't notice a huge difference with the heat until I did the middle cat. And before anybody says, oh, hey, I read on this forum or this Facebook group that it causes a check engine light. It does not. It does not cause a check engine light. You don't need a tuner. You don't need to do anything. Just run it. I ran <clears throat> a pipe just like that one with the rear the rear cat removed and the middle cat removed for over 100 hours with and without an Empire slip-on. Did several plug chops. What, wasn't running lean. Never had a check engine light. Never had any backfires. Never had anything. So as far as taking the rear cat off, a lot of people are just drilling them out, which if you want to spend the time to do it, knock yourself out. It's a waste of time, though. Um... This doesn't support the muffler at all. The muffler bolts into the three holes there on that flange. When you do do this, there's a little gasket there. Make sure that stays. Usually it'll stick, but a lot of people forget that. And then get a bunch of D-cell popping and backfiring and, and say it's the cat's fault. It's not. You left that off. Um, just go up in there. Remove the muffler. There's three bolts. Take them off. Take a sawzall. Chop it off. You're done. Uh, my advice, though, if you're going to do it, go the whole nine, do it the right way. Remove the whole pipe, which for T4 guys is kind of tough. you got to pull the floorboards or the skid plates to get up in there and get it off. In my opinion, it's worth it. Um, pull it off. You're going to make a want to make want to make a cut right there where that weld is. The cat is right there behind the sensor bung. That's the only sensor on this pipe, on any of the pipes, actually. It goes right there. The cat starts behind it, goes there. That's why you don't have a check engine light. Once you get it out, chop it right there, knock this cat out. It's only two and a half, three inches long. And then go to somebody that knows how to weld. I don't. So I took it to a professional welder that can weld stainless and had it welded back up. Just make sure you get the pipe straight. Um, a good gauge is to use that pinch weld there. Just remember which way it goes. Don't weld it on upside down so it's sitting the other way. But other than that, that's all it is to it, guys. You unbolt it, cut it, knock the cat out, get it welded back up properly. Bolt it back up. You don't have to tune. You won't have any check engine lights. You won't have any issues. The only thing you'll notice is a little bit of throttle response. Not much. But a ton. Ton, ton, ton of less heat in the cab. People up north, um, it may not bother you guys, but down here where I live, 11 months out of the year, it's a pain in the butt. Only about one month out of the year in January is it nice to have the heat in the cab. But I'll sacrifice that for the 11 months of it being reasonably cool inside. But there you go, guys. That's all it is to it. No check engine lights. No nothing. <clears throat> do it yourself. It's not bad. You're not going to harm your motor. Um, but check it out. Do it yourself. Uh, if you've done it, let me know in the comments and your experiences with it. Thanks.